Hi there and welcome back. Let's review major depression today. Major depression, also called clinical depression, is a brain disorder characterized by persistently depressed mood or loss of interest in activities causing significant impairment in daily life. More than 3 million US cases per year have been reported while dealing with major depression. What are the causes? Possible causes include a combination of biological, psychological and social sources of distress. Increasingly, research suggests these factors may cause problems in brain function including abnormal activity of certain neural circuits in the brain. Hormones or the hormonal changes in the body, the balance of hormones may be involved in causing or triggering depression. Hormone changes can result with pregnancy and during the weeks or months after delivery, postpartum and from thyroid problems, menopause or a number of other conditions. Inherited traits also labeled as a cause of depression. Depression is more common in people whose blood relatives also have this condition. Researchers are trying to find genes that may be involved in causing depression. So what are the risk factors? Factors that seem to increase the risk of developing or triggering depression include traumatic or stressful events such as physical or sexual abuse, the death or loss of a loved one, a difficult relationship or financial problems, blood relatives with a history of depression, bipolar disorder, alcoholism or suicide. Other factors are like personality traits such as low self-esteem and being too dependent, self-critical or pessimistic. Likewise, there are other factors such as serious or chronic illness including cancer, stroke, chronic pain or heart disease, abuse of alcohol or illegal drugs and certain medications such as some high blood pressure medications or sleeping pills are also listed as risk factors. Symptoms the persistent, the persistent feeling of sadness or loss of interest that characterizes major depression can lead to a range of behavioral and physical symptoms. This may include changes in sleep, appetite, energy level, concentration, daily behavior or self-esteem. Depression can also be associated with thoughts of suicide. Treatment. <clears throat> the mainstay of treatment is usually medication, talk therapy or a combination of the two. Increasingly, research suggests these treatments may normalize brain function associated with depression. How do we underwrite? Look for any hospitalization, suicidal ideas or disability info. What, what do you see in the medical records? about the treatment and compliance info. Are there any associated issues like alcohol or drug related concerns? Any other psych psychiatric disorder? Any history of violence? Adverse driving history? Any amount of time lost at work or school? And the impact on the interpersonal and occupational function etc. And plug these details into your manual or company specifics to arrive at the best possible offer that you can extend. Okay, so with that, let's take a break here and uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye now.